Now this is my kind of move it Monday. And my man said, grab a chair and have a seat. Okay, let's do it. Say hello. Here we are. To Michael Aller. We are all about chair yoga today. Michael, this is fun. You've got a great little presence calming energy. Thank you. Yes, I know. I'm like, okay. And this is a yoga mudra. You can put your hands, right hand resting in your left and let your thumbs touch. You know, yoga is based on breath. Right. It's always about breath. You can do a quick ocean breath, which um, is a yoga breath. You breathe through your nose and then you exhale through your mouth like you're fogging a mirror. Do that a few times if you're stressed at your desk. I feel like I hear this a lot at our desk. So does this mean, don't you feel like you hear these movements? I do it a lot. Uh -huh. I do too. And chair yoga is for everyone. It's, it's a fitness program that's for everyone. And with, what do you think the average amount of people sit per day? Like uh, eight hours. Eight to it's something yeah. crazy. Six to eight. Six yeah. to eight. A okay. lot of sitting. So uh -huh. that means tight shoulders, tight hips, mm -hmm. a lot of tightness. So chair yoga is the prop. There's no up and down on the floor. It's all based on using the chair as the prop. Okay. Versus a block, which means because some people say, well, I can't do yoga because I can't get on the floor. You don't need to get on the floor. Just Stay in so your these are it's great for people that are sitting at their desk or for people that may have mobility issues as well. Correct. I mean, it has so many health benefits from lowering blood pressure, relieving anxiety, stress, uh, weight control. I mean, it has a lot of benefits. And if you do want to stand, you just use the you get behind the chair and do some movements to particularly sitting tight hips. Right. Um, and has a lot to do with mobility and balance particularly when people are sitting at the desk. I find people all the time like hunched, this. hunched over, bring the monitor up, put it on a box or a book or something, and do some shoulder, really easy shoulder yoga moves. One of them is you just bring your hands to heart center and you focus a couple breaths, because we're on TV, it would be you know three breaths. Right. And then you just take your right hand and come behind your right shoulder, take your left hand, and then just lift and breathe. Take nice, deep breaths. I won't rip today, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, look straight ahead. Megan, have your view looking straight ahead. Okay. There you go. And some people, you know, that are real yoga, they can do a bind, which is bring your hand behind you. Oh. But, Binds okay, are tough. So, <laughs> that, can you do that? No, no I can't. Binds are tough. Yeah, so then, but always remember it's about balance. So you take those three breaths again, and then do the left side. Same thing. Take your right hand on your left elbow and look straight ahead. Take some nice deep breaths. Do you keep your chin down or is it kind of up? up when just you like do you're it? doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's it. perfect. Yo, this actually feels really good too. Yeah. And I noticed while we were on here, we haven't been like this, which would be the tendency, mm -hmm. you know? But just look how bad this <laughs> looks compared to sitting up tall. And cell phones make it worse. We're yes. like, okay. Uh, and I do some yoga hand movements because. Same thing. How many hours do we spend on devices? A lot. Way too many. Way too many. Okay, so there's a simple yoga move. You bring your right arm out, take your left hand, cover your right wrist. Again, breath. Take some breaths and push back. And then you reverse it, push up, and then out. This is for carpal tunnel. Oh. So you press back, cover all five fingers. Oh, sorry. There you oh. go. I was being back. Oh. <laughs> Mega. I love it. I know that. And then kind of shake that out. Again, take a couple breaths, and then do the same thing on the other side. Hand down. And you, you want to synchronize with breath, yeah. then up, and then out. I have a new appreciation for yoga. Like, it's not yeah. just. It's not all about pretzel poses and yeah. bending. There's one other one because. I mean, eyes are critical. Uh -huh. There's an easy yoga practice that I use. You bring your hands out in front, take the heels of your hands and rub them together. Now, you want to be mindful of your makeup, Megan. Okay. <laughs> so you rub them until you get some warmth and then just lightly let them rest in your eyes and create some warmth. Mm. That's great. Like, it, did you feel the warmth? I didn't even I touch do. my face all the way because of the makeup, but right. I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and then, you know, I say organically blank to create some natural tears. You know, so hands, shoulders, eyes, the breath. Um, if you want to do some hip movements, you just get up from the chair. Yeah. And it's recommended if you're sitting that six to eight hours, get up every hour. You know, there's Fitbits and yeah, watches and things that remind us. 
in a on the floor class, you'd be doing hip circles. You can do the same thing from just standing up from the chair and doing circles clockwise and then circles counterclockwise. Michael, really, how did you get into this? Um, I used to be an international buyer and retired from that and have been teaching chair yoga now for about 10 years to a lot of active seniors who sit too much. Right. You know, so this helps them. I do it on Zoom now because of COVID. So right. I've met people in Seattle and uh, Florida and Pennsylvania that go on Zoom and take it there because they're safe. They don't have to wear a mask. Yeah. So it's a lot of still same benefit. And cool. the great thing about Zoom too is that our viewers here can maybe sign up and do it with you. Yeah. yeah. So where and do they go to do this? Well, they can go onto my website, chairyogawithmichael.com. There's a page there, contact. I always offer the first class free because maybe it's not for everyone. Right. So take the first class and see Kinda if you like see. it. Um, it's a simple uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at nine o'clock, nine to 10. Um, and you can just join, you know, and see if it really works for you, particularly people that are sitting at their desks so much. Yeah. I mean, it's a real health benefit. Well, I think it's so smart because a lot of people, as much as we want you to get up more, I mean, that's goal number one. Some people that may not be an option. So now you're kind of being like, okay, you're going to be in your chair. I got something for you. I think it's brilliant. I, think <laughs> it's it's I mean, so there's, smart. I mean, I could go on for, there's a lot of poses. There's goddess pose where you can do from the chair. You just, again, lead with the breath and then bring your arms out. Squeeze your shoulder blades uh -huh, together. Like a goddess. You hear that pop. Uh huh. Pop, yeah. Pop. And then mm. squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's opening the heart. And we all need an oh, open heart. We all need an open heart. <laughs> Michael, this is great. We'll have to have you back Thank again. You. I this loved was, it. Thank uh, you. Yeah, we learned a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's great. Mr. Yogi. I got some cracks in. I'm See? happy. <laughs> <laughs> got some adjustments. Yes, cool. this is great. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Michael.